Surveying the damage after two tornadoes touched down here, one in Pinellas, one in Hillsborough County. You're watching 10 Tampa Bay at 5. I'm Josh Sidorowitz. And I'm Courtney Robinson. The damage from those two tornadoes could be seen in both Hillsborough and Pinellas counties. You can see the damage from above right there in the Eagles community in Odessa. And then with the pool and eyes crumpled, trees uprooted, in St. Petersburg, a tornado left significant damage at an apartment complex there. And that is where we find 10 Tampa Bay's Angelicia Bruton. She spoke with neighbors about how they're recovering right now. And uh, Angelicia, what are they telling you? Josh and Courtney, people that live here at the corner of 17th Avenue South and 6th Street South say when a big storm comes in, they usually have to worry about flooding. They say their parking lot turns into a pool. That didn't happen last night, but they say they still got hit pretty hard. The electricity coming along that line right there, all it seemed was like it was just like a, like a. Colin Thomas was home. I'm downstairs on the end over there. He saw the EF0 tornado make its way through South St. Pete. Everything was like so fast. So fast he couldn't even wrap his head around what was happening. Seeing this thing down here was like in the air and uh, that was it. And we tried to come around this way and the water and stuff here was so high but everybody was telling us to get back, get back. Downed power lines and part of the roof are now sitting in puddles of water. One building is without power due to roofing material hanging on a line. And Thomas says that's just what you can see from the outside. I do know that we have a leak over here on the roof. First reaction, I'm thankful that uh, there was no loss of life. Mayor Ken Welch stopped by to hear neighbors' concerns. Our focus is to get work with Duke Energy and try to get the electricity back onto the center apartments as, as soon as possible. And there's some other issues that the folks have brought forward that we're going to address. Being an active nature. One concern Thomas has is where is he going to live? Yeah, we have to accept a lot of things that we can't change. Code enforcement was there this morning assessing the damage. What do we do? Is uh, the property owners, is, uh, is they responsible for or do I have to go out and, and uh, obtain a place for, for my family. And Angelicia, listening to all that, listening to the people who live there, I mean, what is the property owner doing about this right now? Yeah, Courtney, neighbors tell me that Times Square Properties owns this place. They say that they did stop by today, but they didn't answer all of their questions. One concern people had was who's going to put a tarp on that roof before rain comes back? I reached out to the property owners myself, and I still have not heard back. Live in St. Pete, Angelicia Bruton, 10 Tampa Bay.